joining me today. I'm actually in Colorado. I am here visiting my family. Um, unfortunately, because of the COVID, it's really difficult to visit all my friends. Um, but it, it just makes it really hard. But, you know, I haven't seen them in, in a long time. We've been kind of uh, coordinating to see if we can meet, but it's, it makes it very difficult, you know, with this virus. So anyway, but it's been really nice to be in Colorado. It's been snowing and uh, just last couple of days. Um, but it's been really kind of cold and crisp. It's different than where we are in France. Usually it's all green and everything. But I have been forced to kind of take a break from the gardening and uh, spend time with my family. But it's been nice to be grounded a little bit. Otherwise, I'll be out there digging the ground and, you know, trying to continue with my new areas of the garden. But, um, but this is really nice. It's nice to take a break and do something else. So I will have lots of energy going back to work on my own garden. I do miss it, though. It's kind of hard for me not to have my hands in the dirt. But, um, but it, it's, it's really nice, and I'm really enjoying my mom and dad. So um, today I'm preparing salad, and as I told you before, we're really foodie people. I, I love uh, cooking. My, par my mom is an excellent cook, too, and so I'm preparing salad today. This is one of my parents' favorite ones, and actually ours as well, and some of our get, uh, friends also love it a lot. Um, they, everybody loves it when I serve uh, this salad um, during the holidays or just any occasion, really. It's a beautiful, colorful, full, beautiful, colorful salad. It's beautiful to serve. It's very, very healthy, and, um, um, it, it's, and it tastes amazing, really. So um, anyway, it's, it's, it's a, a pomegranate a beetroot salad. Uh, very nice, beautiful, great. T has a all these flavors just resonate really well together. So uh, I have beetroot here, which I pre-cooked already. Normally in France, I can just go to the market and buy uh, fresh roasted beets. Unfortunately, I don't. I can't do that here in Colorado. So I went ahead and cooked it myself and peeled it basically. Then I have pomegranates here, which I already uh, cleaned. They're ready to go. Pom pomegranate seeds. Um, and here in this uh, bag, uh, a Ziploc bag, I have my walnuts. So uh, walnuts, I usually crush them in my in a bag. It, you know, you can do you can crush your walnuts in any way you like. You can put them in your food processor and process them. I, well, I, I really like this way, this way. Just be, I, I like doing it this way just because. Um, uh, the walnut doesn't get uh, too fine, kind of evenly, so I have a little bit of a texture there. Some of them are a little chunky, some of them are kind of really crushed and fine, but um, I, I kind of like doing it this way. And you probably have seen in my previous video, all I do is just kind of put the walnut in a, a Ziploc bag like that, and with my rolling pin, I basically just smash them, and it has a really nice texture. So I'm going to use walnuts in this salad. I also have a little bit of a crushed garlic, and I have some sour cream. And so and I, will see, I will show you how I make this. So I thought I can do this video and show you how I make this salad and encourage you to make one at home because it is really delicious. And sometimes it's kind of strange to think how these flavors can really blend and resonate together, but they really do. And uh, the freshness of pomegranate with the beetroot, it goes so well together, hand in hand. So anyway, we'll just get go, go ahead and get started here. So what I'm going to do first, I have two bowls here, but first, uh, this is where I'm going to blend all my ingredients. So I'm going to um, uh, put my walnut here first, uh, my crushed walnuts. And as you can see, I can show you with, with this one right here, actually, I can show you how my walnuts are. You can see how parts of them are kind of, parts of them are chunkier than others, and it's just not really all so fine. And I like it this way because then um, you can, you know, I feel like I am actually eating walnuts, which, you know, I absolutely love walnuts. If you don't like walnuts, you can um, use pecans or you can use almonds. I mean, you can... Um, Mod modify this in any way you like. So here we go. We have the first part of it. I'm going to go ahead and disregard this. And then what I'm going to do is grate my beads. So uh, I'm, gra I'm grating them on my grater on a large um, large side of, on, a, on my large larger side. 
And so I'll just go ahead. Oh, what I'm going to do with this salad, you guys, you have to wear gloves. And that's what I'm going to do because with beetroot and pomegranates, they really stay in your hands. So I'm going to put gloves on, on for this. Okay. So first one we go. So I'll just... beetroot is beautifully grated right here so now I'm going to um, um, squeeze the juice out to keep it as dry as possible now I usually squeeze them with my hands I kind of like doing that right that way um, but uh, if for anyone that you don't want to use your hands you're welcome to put it on a strainer on a cheesecloth and kind of put some something a little heavier like a plate or something on top to give it a little bit of a weight and allow to um, for the bits to drain down uh, the juice to drain down and um, and then you can reuse them but this way for me is a little quicker process so you, normally this is how I make it you know you can choose the way you like to do it take my um, gloves off okay I will take my gloves off and uh, you know we are safe now <laughs> from the beads so here we go I have some walnuts I have my beads and I thought I might have a little more you know too, too much walnut but it, I think it'll be okay uh, we love walnuts, so um, if you don't like too much, then you, you know, I don't have a recipe for it, you know, it's just you have to uh, play with it and see how you like it, and, you know, for your taste, if you like walnuts a little too much, or you like your pomegranate too much, I usually love too much, pom a little more pomegranate than usual in this salad, so... I do have a little extra walnuts, though, in here. But it's okay, I can add a little more bit in you know, afterwards. Okay, so it's mixed well. Um, at this point, I'm going to add our garlic. And I know some of you are thinking the garlic with pomegranate, but please try it, it's delicious. Um, and if you don't like garlic, you know, some food, it is kind of strong for some people, just don't use it. You know, use just the salt and pepper, season it the way you like it. We love garlic, and uh, with garlic, this dish is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to add garlic to this. It's, and it's just a crushed garlic, that's all. Or you can use just a little bit, or you can use a little extra. It depends of your, excuse me, it depends of your, um, how you like it and your taste. So... I'm going to add salt and pepper to it. Okay, so now I'm adding a little salt and pepper. Let's season with seasoning the salad just with the salt and pepper, and that's it. And you can taste it to see, you know, how it pleases you. OK, 
Okay. So after season, uh, seasoning the salad, we need to go ahead and start adding a little bit of a sour cream. And for the sour cream, I would suggest to uh, add a little at a time because really a lot goes long ways. So um, if you mix too much sour cream, it kind of will drench in it, and that's not what you want. You just like to go a little bit and kind of get that... Um, Beautiful vegetable and fruit just, you know, well combined together. It's kind of you have to play with it a little bit and get to that point that, you know, you think it's it's nice and it's sticking together but not really um, drenched in a sour cream. Okay, guys, so um, here we go. This is kind of a finished product of my salad. So you can see with the sour cream, it looks so beautiful, and it binds together really, really well. Um, so at this point, you can see how beautiful this color is. How, imagine how beautiful this color will look on your dining table. You can serve this as an appetizer, or you can serve this as a salad, and I'll show you how I do it. So at this point, as you can see, I have a nice um, kind of a rectangular um, shaped dish that it's prepared already with some baby arugula. All I've done is just wash them, wash, dried it, washed it and dried it. And then I chopped it just a little bit as a garnish. And what I am going to do is take my ice cream scooper right here and take some, just like that, and add to the plate like this. In this one. To go, it's okay. So here at this point, we can go ahead and garnish them with a little bit of a pomegranate seeds, or you know, with really anything that you would like that makes you think it would be beautiful. But I, I love pomegranate seeds because it already Pomegranates are already inside of this beautiful salad, um, and the uh, uh, seeds just look so amazing. Uh, I, I like to garnish them with little pomegranate like that. And then you can also throw some, you know, around the edges kind of like that to make it, you know, beautiful because those um, red dots just look so bright and cheery and happy. So, look, look at that. Isn't this beautiful? Like you can't imagine, when you, your guests will be so um, uh, delighted to see this beautiful salad at the table when you have them over for appetizers or dinner. I usually serve this as a salad. You can also serve this uh, uh, beautiful dish as a uh, appetizer with a, a toasted baguette, French baguette, with uh, toasted with some olive oil um, on a side, and you can, you know, just have it with a knife over the bread. It's really, really delicious. Everybody has tried it in my, in my uh, as, in, as as my guests, they all loved it. My parents love, my family loves it, and it's such a healthy salad because it contains pomegranate, which is all packed with antioxidants, and also a, a root, a beetroot is so healthy for you. Uh, if anyone doesn't like dairy, you can substitute with something else that it's, it's better for you. Um, I do like the sour, taste of sour cream, but as I said, if you don't like dairy, you can substitute with something else. But um, it, it, walnuts are very healthy. Everything is so good, and even garlic is so good for your health. And so uh, this is a delicious, um, beautiful salad. I usually serve them for the holidays or you know any other event, uh, for any other event when I invite guests over and I love entertaining. So I 
always love having my our friends over for dinner or appetizers, etc. So uh, this is beautiful. I also wanted to let you know that I sometimes I can use molds like this. This one is a little bigger. Um, I have at home in France. I have different sizes, so I uh, I usually uh, make them in a well smaller version of this, where you can just put it on a plate pack it down really well, carefully lift it, and you can just have a nice shape. Or you can do individual salads. If for in, uh, I'm sorry, for the salads, for the individual plates in a smaller mold and garnish them for every guest and to, uh, on a table. And it's just uh, delight, beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the color, and I love presenting this to my guests. I hope you like this video, and I hope that you would go ahead and try this salad because truly uh, it is delicious, absolutely delicious and beautiful. And I think everybody will be impressed when you served uh, this dish. Uh, and if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe them and have a wonderful time. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.